Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're gonna to talk about adding iron to your lawn to help it turn really dark green. How I do it, how you can do it, real simple and easy. Hold on one sec. Hey guys, so a lot of you know that uh, you can spray iron on your lawn. It'll increase the chlorophyll, basically, is what it does. It sort of crams all that chlorophyll and production inside of it and turns your lawn really dark green. It's pretty cool. The nice thing is, is that um, the best way to apply iron to your lawn is foliage, spray it on the foliage, because a lot of times iron gets locked up in the ground. And so the nice thing is, is we're spraying super juice so we can add some extra iron to our super juice and spray it on. That's what I'm gonna do today and that's what I'm gonna show you. Now before I get started, I said I wasn't gonna post this video until super juice was back in stock. <laughs> because it's been out of, due to heavy demand, it's been out of stock for almost two weeks now. Finally, uh, they got a, another truck up to Anderson's and it's back in stock as of this video. So yes, Emma had a thunder. <laughs> so as of right now, uh, it should be back in stock. This is April 18th or April 19th, I think. So today I'm inside the garage for a reason. We got thunderstorms, rain, all kinds of stuff in. Yesterday I did this treatment, I'm gonna show it to you. Now, one of the nice things about Super Juice is you can add additional products and you can do extra treatments. I'm going to do a phosphorus correction on my lawn. Uh, I was a little bit short on my phosphorus. I put down some 10-10-10 uh, last week. I put it down a little bit of 10-10-10. Now, my lawn is only getting Super Juice, by the way. That's it. And uh, I put a little 10-10-10 to correct my phosphorus, and I told you I was going to put down a spray. So I'm going to do the phosphorus adjustment, a little extra iron, and the Super Juice all in one. That's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I was going to show you a little irrigation hack that I did where I, I don't have a garden hose spigot on the right side of my house. They're all over on the left side and I have a slab foundation so I can't access it. So I tied into my irrigation system and put a sprinkler head but that's too complicated. So click that subscribe button so that you know when I put that irrigation hack in. It's pretty cool if you want to see it but it's kind of dangerous because of the high PSI. Man, you talk about deadly it's a deadly psi it's hot so anyways uh, i used liquid iron and i put about one cup eight ounces for about five thousand square feet in case you're wondering that's the amount that i use i'm doing my own phosphorus readjustment uh, that's really doesn't matter to anyone but let me tell you what if you want a really really dark green lawn you can add iron now super juice now, Super Juice is a complete and balanced formula. It already has uh, two or two and a half percent iron already inside of it. It's a powder, you mix it, spray it on, has everything your lawn needs. But you're putting out a very, very small amount of nutrients. It's really designed as a supplement. So, so if you really want to bump it up and add some additional iron, you can add the liquid iron to this. Um, in the description down below, I'm going to have a link to a page. And on that page, I'm gonna have several things. I'm gonna have links to the products that I'm using, the super juice, the iron, everything else. Plus, I'm gonna have additional resources if you wanna read them from universities and turf magazines and that kind of stuff about the benefits of iron. One of the things about cool about iron is you can use iron to green up your lawn instead of nitrogen during stress periods. So you could put a whole ton of nitrogen on your lawn, but then your lawn's gonna grow like crazy. It's gonna use all this energy. And if the heat comes in, if it stops raining, it's gonna be under a lot of stress. So one little trick is to add some additional iron and you're not pushing the growth of your lawn during stress periods. So that's a cool little trick. Now you don't wanna put a huge amount of iron down because you can actually turn your grass kind of gray or even black sometimes, but uh, Again, using this method, putting down about one cup or eight ounces per 5,000 square feet is plenty as a little supplement to boost up the super juice. I like to do it every once in a while. Now, this will be my sixth treatment, so I haven't done anything extra. This is the first iron, extra iron treatment I'm doing. So, and I'll do it maybe once a month. The other thing is, is if you start to have yellow, what's called chlorosis, but if you start to have like yellow tips all over your yard, Sometimes it's a nutrient deficiency, sometimes it's a pH imbalance, but a little bit of iron can also help that too. So if you start to see yellow blades of grass all over your yawn, you can hit it with a little bit of iron until you figure out what's causing that problem. Okay, so uh, what am I doing? This is not something the average person would do, but let me show you what I've got. First, I've got, I've got 17,000 square feet, so I've got about two gallons of water. 
Again, the, the amount of water isn't important, it's what you put into it that is important. As long as you apply everything that you put into the water to the lawn, that's what's key. I've got about a fifth of a bag of super juice, so this is about, for me, a fifth of a bag puts out about a 7 one ratio. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in there. I like to put in, every once in a while, a little bit of iron, just a little boost iron. I'll put about a cup in there. A little extra iron, give it a little blue color, a little iron in. Now, this is the adjustment treatment. Now this is this is a 10, this is a 10, 52, 10. So if this is four pounds, 50% of this is two pounds. So there's one, two, three, there's three packs in here. I'll put one pack in. to leave it again this is hot water I'll leave it for a few minutes about five ten minutes come back stir it one more time and uh, that'll be it all right so I use a tea pitcher because I have to spray three lawns and I just take about a 400 mesh screen or not 400 mesh 400 micron and I put it here and then I'll just go ahead and just pour it in Now, if I have any humic left in here, what I'll do is I'll get my garden hose and I'll rinse this into my shrubs and gardens around. That's how what I do with it. Now I'll take my dye, which is the last thing I do. Almost out of green, so I'm going to use a little green. I'm actually going to use a little bit of blue too. Just for the heck of it. I'm going to stir that up. So people ask me, do you prefer the yellow or the green bottles? Uh, the yellows are easier to clean out, but the yellow sprayers can be a little bit more touchy, I guess. So I'll start off by using all green. Before you do this, make sure your bottle is in the off position because you're going to be squeezing the bottle and that hole will be open. like that she's ready to go so if you watched one of my earlier videos I talked about taking a 332nd drill bit if you're having sprayer troubles take a 332nd drill bit and go in here and just open up that hole a little bit like with a pair of pliers or vice grips or you can drill it slowly you're not trying to ream this hole out because it'll spray too much but here's another thing uh, one of my viewers actually said something about he put a breather hole in the top of his bottle and that got me thinking that there's another tiny on these yellow ones there's another tiny little hole here that's a breather hole so uh, I got an even smaller drill bit and what I'm doing is I'm opening that breather hole up just a little bit just to see if that helps now he said it made an amazing difference but I think what he did is he drilled a hole in his cap which you gotta be careful because if it tips over, it's gonna spill. So I'll check this sprayer out first and we'll see how it works. Hey guys, so uh, I did check out that sprayer with the extra little breather hole to open up a little bit and it works really well. So I don't know if that's a cure or not. I don't make the bottles. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and spray. I'm gonna have to watch pretty quick because this stuff's really coming out now. Never up, never down. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool
there's the finished lawn sprayed so anyways uh, don't forget the nice thing about super juice is that you have the ability to mix in other things with it so if you want to mix in I some a lot of times if I have to put pre-emergent out I'll put pre out pre-emergent out and if I want to do an extra iron boost I'll do an extra iron boost if I have to do a phosphorus adjustment, which I just did, I did a phosphorus adjustment. You can put other things out in it. Uh, bug spray. Uh, if you wanted to put out, say you wanted to put out some, uh, you had army worms, uh, and on top of the duo side, maybe you want to put out some permethrin or something like that. You can add it into your super juice and spray it out at the same time. It's not going to hurt it. And uh, that's about it, guys. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing that... Uh, modification on the irrigation system i'll do a video on that and i got a bunch more videos coming out and plus i'll be doing pressure washing stuff here soon so click that subscribe i'll talk to you later super juice is back in stock on amazon everyone's been asking so it's back in stock so get it while you can later doc